His life, full of love, adventures, and gambles, resembled his works where comedy was interwoven with tragedy. Lope Felix de Vega Carpio, the Spanish prose writer, poet, and playwright, who created more than 1,500 plays, went in history as the creator of the new comedy. Lope Felix de Vega Carpio was born in 1562. His father, a peasant by birth, moved to Madrid, where he mastered gold embroidery. After saving the required money, he bought a patent on the noble rank and tried to give his son an education worthy of a nobleman. At first, Lope studied at the Jesuit College, then at the University of Alcala de Henares and the Royal Academy. Right from early childhood, Lope exhibited a phenomenal receptivity to studies, an ability for languages, and literary talents. At the age of 10, he was able to translate Claudian's poem, Rape of Proserpine, from Latin, and when he was 13, he wrote his first comedy, The True Lover, that was immediately staged, and it was a success. The boy showed an inclination for adventure rather early. At the age of 14, he ran away to Ostroga with his friends, but the fugitives were found and returned home. For a while, the boy was a page of the Bishop Jerónimo Manríquez. Then he joined the army as a volunteer and took part in the expedition of the Azores. But the stage continued to attract the talented youth and he returned to Madrid to write for the theater. Soon the young playwright was quite at home behind the scenes and fell in love with the popular actress Elena Osorio, the daughter of a theater manager. The love affair with the married lady lasted for five years, but in the end the giddy actress found a new and richer admirer. The abandoned lover took vengeance on the unfaithful woman in a very original way. He wrote some wicked epigrams about her and spread them among the actors. Elena Osorio reacted by suing him for libel, and in 1588, Lope de Vega was sentenced to eight years' banishment from the capital. Three months after serving the verdict, Lope de Vega married Isabel de Urbina, the daughter of a courtier of a herald, and in three more weeks he sailed on board a galleon that was part of the invincible armada. But the playwright went on creating, even on the deck of the ship. During the campaign, he wrote the poem, The Beauty of Angelica. After the defeat of the Invincible Armada, Lope de Vega entered the service of the Duke of Alba and settled in Valencia with his wife. The modest position of the secretary allowed him to focus on his plays in full measure. At this time, many well-known comedies, including the famous play, The Gentleman Dancing Master, appeared. In 1595, Lope de Vega returned to Madrid, leaving three graves that were dear for him, those of his wife and two little daughters. There he found a job and got acquainted with his new muse, the talented actress Micaela de Luján. He glorified her in his poems, Camila Lucinda. Their affair wasn't even interrupted by a new marriage of the writer, who was always full of love to Juana de Guardo, the daughter of a wealthy pork merchant. All these years, Lope de Vega didn't stop writing for the theater. Comedies of intrigues and comedies of the cloak and sword, which Lope de Vega's pen produced, were sold like hotcakes. Sometimes he wrote to order at a fantastic speed, creating a three-act comedy in two or three days. The playwright's popularity reached its height. He was called the Columbus of poetic indies and the phoenix of the Spanish wit. In Cervantes' work, the great Lope de Vega became the autocrat in the theatrical empire. In the first decade of the 17th century, religious motives in the works of the playwright became intensive. In 1609, he became familiar with the sacred inquisition, a person enjoying the full confidence of inquisitors. Three years later, Lope de Vega joined the tertiary organization that was part of the Franciscan order, and after the death of his wife and son, he entered the priesthood. However, his cloth didn't prevent him from engaging in literary activities. 
The Dog in the Manger, one of his most famous comedies, was written during this period. Lope de Vega was an elderly man when he met his last love, young Marta de Navares. He glorified his sweetheart in his poetry, dedicated to her some novelas and one of his best comedies, The Widow from Valencia. The last years of Lope de Vega's life were a train of disasters. His son perished at Pearl Fields, his youngest daughter was abducted and dishonored, and then the woman he loved lost her eyesight and mind. Later, she died. But even these tragedies didn't make the writer give up his creative work. He finished his last poem four days before his death. The great Spanish writer passed away on the 27th of August, 1635, and was buried in St. Sebastian's Church. Lope de Vega himself stated that he wrote about 1,500 works during his life, only 426 comedies and 48 autos, one-act religious plays, reached us.